Hey girlies! Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this um, flower hair accessory just from shopping bag tissue paper. Um, and some of you guys may remember making these back in grade school or preschool, kindergarten, wherever. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, my mom works at a daycare. And so ever since I've been making these, ever since I was a little girl. Um, but back then I would make them with pipe cleaners and then um, I'd make like little bouquets with them and give them off as like attach them to like birthday presents or cards. But as I got older, I would tur I turned them into a hair accessory. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that today. And yeah, so all you're going to need is obviously tissue paper. And today I'm going to be using the one from Sephora, the red tissue paper from Sephora but any tissue paper will work. Um, you can also use tissue paper not from shopping bags, but from like birthday presents, like to make this one here today to go with my dress. Um, I just use like blue tissue paper from like a birthday present I recently got. So yeah, any tissue paper will work. And yeah, now it's going to be a bit crumpled, but that's okay, that's even better. That's actually the first step because crumpled tissue paper gives character to the flower and it makes it look a bit more real. So, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna need tissue paper. Um, scissors. These snappy clips that I'm sure you guys have like lying around. And an elastic, right? So the first step is you're going to take your tissue paper, about, the, about this, yeah, about this big, and you're going to hold it up like this, right? So the longer part is going down like this. And then you're going to fold it in half. And then fold it down. And then down again, right? So when you open it back up, you have four sections this way and four sections this way, right? So you have eight little squares in total, right? Then you're going to cut out all eight squares. So then you end up with something like this, right? So these are my eight squares that I've cut out already. And then what you're gonna do is just, you know, line them up all together. And then you're going to take it and make a paper fan with it. So I'm gonna put it down lengthwise like this. And I'm gonna start with my first fold. You guys know how to make paper fans, right? I'm sure you guys have made them before. So first fold, turn it over, fold it down again, Right? Turn it over, fold it down again. Like, I'm sure you guys have made paper fans before. You know, so as you can see, you have a bunch of pleats and it's starting to get that, you know, it's starting to look like a fan now, right? So you keep on doing that. When you're done, you end up with, you know, paper fan, right? Something like this. Okay, so when you're here now, what you're going to do is put it down like this, right? so that the fan part is facing upwards. You're going to take your elastic and you are going to cut it and then just loop the elastic right over the center of the fan. Right? So you have now something like this. So just loop it over the center. So there it is, right at the center. And then just, yeah, so you have these two little dangly loose parts sticking out from the elastic. Then you're going to take your hair clip, and clothes, by the way. Um, now, if you notice, on these, like, hair clips that everybody has, there are two little slits, right, down there. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to flip you guys. But there are two little slits, like, right there. And you're just going to put an elastic end into each one of the slits, right? So, yeah, and so I'm going to slip that, you're going to just thread it right through the elastic, so let me thread the other one right through, uh, So there we go, it's thread like right through, right? So it looks something like that right now. 
Then you're just going to tie a knot right at the bottom here. Just tie a knot there. And you end up with something like this. Now, if the knot, if the ends of the elastic are still a bit too long, you can go ahead and trim them with the scissors, which I've already done. So you have your fan, the elastic on the bottom, and it looks something like this. Then my favorite part, this is the part I always loved as a kid. You would start each, so now you have a bunch of layers, right? You're going to take the first, the top layer of, your, of one side, and you're going to fold it towards the center of the elastic. So you're going to take that and fold it upwards towards the center of the elastic. Just like so. And then you go back on the other end, take that top layer and fold it towards the center. And you alternate between ends. Then go back to this side. And I'm going to take the top layer and just fold it up towards the center. I remember like doing this with my mom when I was a little kid. I would like we would sit there and do that when my brothers and my dad would do their, you know, like their guy sort of thing. I don't know what they were doing, but and yeah, we would make these all day, and we'd make and we end up with like by the end of the day we have like all these little bouquets, and it was just yeah, so pretty. So yeah, as so you can sort of see now, it's like starting to look like a carnation, and you keep on going until all the layers are folded up. And then when you're finally done, you end up with something like this. And the clip is still down there. And yeah, so, and you, you know, just clip it in your hair. Um, and if you're not bold enough to wear it in your hair, you can also clip it like onto your shirt, right? As like fashion clothing accessory. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's really, really simple. I hope you guys can check it out. It's great. Summer's not yet over, so. You know, I'm still going to be, you know, wearing this every now and then until summer is over. And then, yeah. So, that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.